a huge majority of the new 2024 driver range are very expensive and let's face it seem a bit of a con in today's video i'm going to tell you exactly why and i'm also going to show you a bit of an alternative that may well impress you because it really impressed me hi everyone my name is james robinson and welcome to this youtube channel guys if you are new here please do consider hitting that subscribe button today i'm going to talk about the new 2024 drivers and guys i always listen to my comments i always look at what you guys have to say and as you can see at the moment a lot of people are starting to say that these drivers are looking far too expensive and pricing people out of the market so today we're going to talk about that we're going to discuss exactly why things have gone up why drivers are so expensive but also i've been shopping at the guys at golf clubs for cash and i found an alternative for 299 pounds 99 pence and the reason why i've chosen around 300 pounds is i feel like that's a good price for a new driver when i was buying golf clubs when i was growing up the new driver was always around 300 pounds it's still expensive but it's not a bad price if you've got a little bit of spare money today i'm going to test that driver at that price in the studio show you just what numbers we can get with it show you exactly what shaft you can get in it as well for that price so the new tailor-made qi 10 max driver 499 pounds the new ping g430 max 10k driver 599 pounds which is quite staggering and quite ridiculous to be quite frank the new pxg driver 549 pounds the new callaway paradigm ai smoke driver 400 and 99 pounds you can sort of see where this is going you can sort of see why a lot of you guys have had enough with it as well i've never seen so many comments saying that things are overpriced things are getting silly you always get the odd couple of comments when new drivers are released but i've never seen so many comments saying the same thing that things are getting a little bit out of hand and it's getting a bit of a con and that's not to say that these drivers aren't very good it's not to say these drivers won't potentially help your game the new tailor-made qi 10 max is a fantastic driver and really really helps hit good shots but that's also not to say that it's not going to miss fairways like i've done with that one it's also not to say you can't get something on a little bit more of a budget that can potentially help your game as well the new ping g430 max 10k driver that costs even more and although it looks fantastic it's full of technology it has a huge tungsten weight in the back and it has lots of inertia um 10, grams per centimeter squared i think is the equation it might, I might be wrong but i'm not that guy it's a lot of money it's 569 pounds is the cheapest i've seen it and for ping i think that's a little bit disappointing i've slipped a little bit there but i've still managed to hit the fairway with the ping so what is the answer should you stay away from the new golf club should you not spend the big money should you go on strike of buying new golf clubs should you buy a driver from costco like i did the other day for 199 dollars and see that it performs pretty well or do you delve into the second hand market and find out what deals you can potentially get for 299 pounds i got a titleist ts3 in fantastic condition with a graphite design tor ad di6 s shaft for as you can see 299 pounds i honestly think not only does this represent fantastic value but i think it's actually a really really good driver a really good looking driver a really good feeling driver and a fantastic sounding driver not only that if you go home and tell your wife you spent 299 pounds you're not going to be in as much trouble if you spent 600 trust me we've had these discussions at home so let's jump in the studio let's see just how this driver can perform for 299 pounds let's call it 300 because i think that's the price that's a little bit of a sweet spot for you your family and potentially your golf game as well huge fan of how this looks but how does it perform And you see the mega interesting thing is i honestly challenge anybody to find a driver that's potentially better value than this driver at 299 pounds 99 pence with this shaft in it because we all know that driver heads can only come on so far can only go so far and when we talk numbers here on the golf sun simulator it's so important that you understand what numbers you are looking for check that out for a ball flight a tiny bit left but that one's carried 270 yards running up to 290 yards 
with a driver that's cost half the price of some of the new big name drivers. I'm really enjoying the idea of this, really enjoying the fact you can go and get a driver for half the price. As I've mentioned outside, for me, 300 pounds is that kind of nice ballpark figure where you could go and treat yourself if you've got a little bit of spare cash. And 600 pound, 500 pound, it's all just getting a little bit silly, isn't it? Can we hit the same shot down the fairway? Oh, that one's gone right. Nothing's gonna stop that. Still 2,300 spin, but nothing's helping that one, I'm afraid. And you still do get an element of adjustability with this driver. You still get a Titleist world famous sure fit hosel where you can change the face angle and the loft. You still get a movable weight system here where you can move the bar around in the back. Look at that horrible last ball flight. 159 ball speed though, 162, 163 for me is a really, really nice ball speed. That's better, that's better, go on. Oh. And you still get adjustable weight as well, you still get this bar in the back where Titleist actually don't do this anymore, I don't know why, I've quite enjoyed it, surely they've made a way of maybe making it so you can change it. We'll do our best not to lose that screw. Oh no, I can see it, we're fine. But you can see here, this is, if it comes out, you can see here, this is what you used to get. See, it's got 14 gram weight in one side and a much lighter side in the other. So depending which way you put it in, you can set it draw or fade bias. Let's keep it in draw bias, because for me, I'm gonna try and start it right and then move it back. But a really interesting way of doing it, the Titleist have now moved to more of a track at the back, but that was a really interesting way. Maybe it looks a little bit odd looking at it now, maybe people just kept losing that screw and that was why they decided to go against it. But if you did want to kind of retrofit yourself for this, then you would have the option because let's face it, you can change the CG, you can change the loft, you can change the face angle. You can pretty much change everything. Hello. You can pretty much change everything. And I'm finding these numbers pretty good, pretty comparable to the drivers you do see coming out now for 600 pounds. As long as I keep that ball flight down, keep the spin rate down and actually provide a decent swing like that one come on just fade a little bit just a touch see there that spun a little bit higher it's still pitched 265 still running up to 280 yards and the ball speed's 160 so for a driver that i've picked off the shelf with let's be fair a really cool looking shaft it's actually performing quite well that's going to be a decent one go on 163 ball 1996 spin 275 carry, 300, oh, 298. I feel like this is a really, really good lesson. Let's get back out on the golf course and let's see if I can make this 300 pound driver, which I think is a really, really good price point work out in the cold. Ooh, don't hit that one. Oh, maybe we need 10K or 20K or 30 grand, oh dear. And so I hear what you're all saying, James, that's all good and well, but why are these drivers so expensive now? Why are all these new golf clubs so much more expensive? And I guess the answer that no one likes to hear is that everything in life is now more expensive, isn't it? New cars are more expensive, houses are more expensive, things that make the new cars and make the new drivers are more expensive. That's not me sticking up for the brands, that's just me looking at how the economy is. Hopefully it might go back down or you go and buy second hand I've like done in this video. So guys, there you go. I think this driver can perform as well as pretty much any new driver on the market if it's fitted in your specs, which you could retrofit. You could buy a driver like this, take it to your local PJ Pro, make sure the shaft's right, make sure the loft's right because you can adjust it and also make sure the CG is right. Then maybe spend that extra money on some lessons. And I think you'll probably end up playing better golf than ever. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for getting in the comments and letting me know what you think. And apart from that, I'm gonna go and play some holes. See you tomorrow. 299 pounds. Yes, please.